what is a candlestick pattern and how does it work? Have you ever been confused about the different kind of candlestick patterns? Well, I think that's a very common problem, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you a trick, rather a hack on how you can actually easily identify any candlestick patterns easily. Okay, you don't have to remember the thousand and one names they have, like, you know, doji and guffing candles, you know, what gravestone. In fact, I myself don't even remember all, but I remember the essence of the candlestick pattern. Okay, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the essence of it and essentially give you a cheat sheet. Okay, so now let's go into uh, the content. Okay, this uh, PDF that I have over here is how to day trade for a living using price action and it's actually a free PDF that I created for you in the description below. Right, you can just head over there to download this. It's all over there, okay, in case uh, you, know, you don't really get it or you need some time to digest the information. Okay, so if you're new to trading, now a candlestick pattern actually only talks about four, four things, right? It summarizes four data points. Okay, the first is the open price. The second is the close, and then you have the high and you have the low, okay? Uh, simple enough, okay? So you, if you have it over here, okay, this is a bullish candle, okay? So you can see uh, this is the open, this is the close, okay? You have a bullish candle when the um, close is higher than the open, right? So basically, the price close higher than when it open, okay? Pretty straightforward, okay? Conversely, if we're talking about a bearish candle, okay? You have the open here and the close here. That means that our price open at a certain level and it has to close below in order to get a, a bearish uh, candle. Okay, so uh, you have the upper and lower shadow, which is just showing the highest and lowest price of the candle uh, for that period. Okay, so this is the basics of a candlestick, uh, you know, how to read a candlestick. So let's go into the patterns. Okay, the first pattern that you need to know is the hammer, okay? I don't have a lot of patterns to share with you because uh, as I said, my goal is to teach you the essence of candlestick patterns, right? So there's only really, um, you know, kind of like uh, four patterns that you need to know. Uh, if you understand these four patterns, you kind of uh, know them all, okay? So the first pattern is hammer, right? So a hammer is basically a one candle uh, bullish reversal pattern. Right, so if we're talking about a hammer in this case, it's a uh, it's this shape, right? It happens after you know price has declined, so you know price is going down, and you have a hammer, and then price reverses after that. Okay, so you can read over here that uh, some characteristics of the hammer include uh, price closes near the top of the candle's range. So early on, we said that uh, you, you have the entire candle range. When you see a candle like this, uh, if it closes like this, means that it closed at the top. Okay, so you want to see something like that. Okay, the other thing you also want to see is that uh, there is a long, uh, you know, wick, very long wick. There's at least two to three times the length of the body. Okay, uh, just a clarification here. You don't need to measure, you just need to eyeball it. Okay, it's not a hard and fast rule that it must be two times. But if you look at it and it stands out that, you know, it's clearly a long wick, then uh, that's what you want. Okay, the last characteristic is uh, there is little or no upper shadow or wick. So in this case, you don't really see any uh, wick because this case, uh, this case uh, example over here, it's uh, just closing at the top. Okay, so this is uh, a hammer. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, it means when the price first opened, right, sellers actually took control and pushed price down. So what you have is, you know, a, a big wick. Right, it pushes that down. So at one time, the price was uh, dropping all the way down. Okay. However, this selling was met with strong buying, and therefore the you know you have a rejection. It comes back up. So that means that the bulls are in control, right? So therefore, this pattern is actually a bullish reversal candlestick pattern that shows rejection of a support level. Okay. But. A word of caution is that uh, you don't just trade every single hammer uh, that you see, okay? Uh, one mistake that a lot of new traders or beginner traders make is uh, they take this uh, information out of context. They say, oh, so trading is just about finding hammers and they go around uh, trading hammers, okay? That's going to blow your account. So please do not do that, okay? Trading is more than just a candlestick pattern, okay? There is a complete, uh, 
you know, you must understand the whole complete picture. And in this PDF guide that uh, I've created for you, I share with you actually one of the strategies that have worked very well for me, right? I also have a Forex course that is totally free, right? Uh, if you want more information how to get access to that, uh, the link's in the description below. Just check it out over there, right? It's under the open account and receive the bonus section. Just check it out, okay? So that is the first uh, pattern that you need to know. Okay, the second pattern, which is not really the second pattern, it's just the opposite of the first pattern. Okay, it's called a shooting star. Now, a shooting star is the opposite of a hammer. Okay, it's, you can see over here that it's the opposite. You kind of just flip it over, right? Okay, so it is a one candle bearish uh, reversal pattern that occurs after price has been rising. So it's opposite. Just now, hammer is when price has been decreased. Freezing for shooting star is when it has been rising. Okay, so here's the characteristics, which is also very similar. You have little or no lower shadow, so in this case, you don't really see a lower shadow at all. Okay, price closes at the bottom one quarter of the candlestick range. Okay, so it closes a uh, very, very low. Okay, and you have a high uh, upper shadow, long upper shadow. Sorry. So you can see over here, it's very long. Again, uh, two to three times, uh, not a high and fast rule. Just eyeball it. And the last one is it must have a small tight body. Okay, so you can see over here, you have the bullish candle and you have the bearish candle. Okay, it's the same. It's the same as the white candle and the black uh, color. Right, just depends on uh, how you set up your charts. So over here, you can see that if this is open and close, open higher, then the close, then it's a bearish candle. If this opens low and close high, it's a bullish candle. Okay, so the color doesn't matter. Okay, you just want the generic shape. Okay, so let me explain to you what does a shooting star mean. Okay, so when the candle first open, buyers are in control. So they push price up, right? Oh, it seems like oh, buyers are very strong. But beyond a certain point, they hit into, you know, selling pressure where the bears comes in and say, no, 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 we are taking control. So they start to sell back down and price ends up like this. Right, so the selling pressure was so strong that the candle closed near the open or even below the open. Right, so this is a sign of uh, bearishness. Okay, if you use this in conjunction with a uh, strong resistance level, uh, this is one of the way you can actually trade. Okay, but same like before, uh, don't just trade every single uh, shooting star of a resistance. Okay, you must understand the uh, trading context. Okay. Okay, the next pattern is the bullish engulfing pattern. Okay, so what is a bullish engulfing pattern? Now, this bullish engulfing pattern is actually a two candle pattern that forms after a decline in price. Okay, it's two. Two candle pattern, not one. The previous two patterns that we talked about is a single candle pattern. But for the bullish engulfing, it's actually a two candle pattern. Okay, so you can see over here, you have the uh, a small body candle over here. In this case, a bearish candle, and then you have a bullish candle. Okay, so what are the characteristics of this bullish engulfing pattern? Okay, number one, the first candle is a bearish candle that has a bearish close. Okay, then we talk about uh, the second candle on the right here, right? So the body of the second candle, right candle, this uh, bullish candle, covers or engulfs the body of the first candle. So if you look at the first candle, the body is actually the open and the close, right? This closing price is a, above the uh, opening price of uh, this bearish candle, okay? If you want even stronger signal, then you watch for the closing price to be above the upper wick, means the uh, highest price of the previous candle, okay? That's an odd enhancer, okay? It's not necessary, but when you see something like that, uh, it is stronger. Okay, and of course, uh, in this kind of cases, then it's mandatory that uh, the second candle over here closes bullish. Okay, it's just common sense. If price has to close above the body, right, and it has to close bullish, then it, it, the opening price, the closing price, sorry, has to be above the uh, opening price. Okay, so what does this mean? Now, a bullish engulfing means that uh, you, your first candle, right? Sellers were in control because it closed bearish. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. But on the second candle, buyers step back in to take control and reverse the entire bearishness. 
right? So it actually shows that the bulls or the buyers have conclusively defended price at that level. So this is a very strong sign, okay? And this is something that you always want to be watching out for, okay? If you, let's say you have a short position and you see a bullish engulfing pattern forming at a support level, that's an excellent sign for you to take profit, okay? Not just hold on to, you know, your, your profits and then you see your profits uh, become smaller, okay? So, you can use uh, your, these candlesticks not just in uh, your entry, but in your trade management, right? In, in managing your stop loss, managing when to uh, take profit or whether you should take partial profit, okay? So, all these patterns that I share or rather all these uh, candlestick patterns is kind of like your... Um, how do I say? It's very important to your foundation as a trader. Okay, no matter what you do, it's always about candlesticks, right? Uh, be it you enter a trade, you manage a trade, or you decide to exceed a trade. All these are all based on um, understanding the uh, candlesticks. Okay, so this is a very crucial lesson. Okay, this is a foundation that you absolutely want to drill. You want to practice. You want to really make sure you understand each of these patterns. You understand the essence of this pattern, okay? So sorry I digress, but I thought that was very important, okay? So let's move on to uh, the last pattern, right? After the last pattern, then I will share with you uh, the essence of uh, identifying this pattern, which is uh, the most important part of this video, okay? So a bearish and engulfing pattern, it's kind of just the opposite. It's the same idea, okay? It's the same idea, it's just the opposite. So it is a two candle bearish reversal candlestick that forms after price has risen, okay? So the first characteristics of it is that uh, the first candle over here must be a bullish candle, okay? The second candle, the close of the second candle should at least close below the body of the first candle, okay? It's just same like before, okay? So I won't spend too much time going into that because it's just same as before, it's just the opposite, okay? And the last uh, criteria is that the second candle must close bearish. Okay, so what does it mean? I'm not going to go through it because it's just the opposite of uh, just now, right? So we, let's move on to uh, the cheat sheet, okay? How you can understand any candlestick patterns without memorizing them all, okay? I shared with you only four patterns, okay? Because frankly, to be honest, you only need to know these four patterns, okay? I'm, I know there are many videos out there there are many, you know, so-called uh, Japanese candlestick guides. You know, I, I used to read this entire book that I think was 200 pages. It's crazy. They have 1,001 patterns that, uh, you know, it didn't really improve my trading at all because there's just too much information, all right? It, it, it doesn't help. But this candlestick pattern cheat sheet is going to help you, okay? So how do you identify any pattern or how do you understand a candlestick pattern, okay? You only need to ask yourself two questions, okay? Very straightforward, just two questions. The first question is, where did price close relative to the range of the candlestick? Did it close towards the top, towards the bottom, or around the center of the range? Okay, the second question is, what is the range of the candle relative to the previous candlestick? Okay, so let's go through each of these questions. Okay, so where did the price close relative to the range of the candlestick? Okay, so you can see over here, you have, uh, you know, price closing at the top, price closing at the top, price closing near the top, price closing in the center, and price closing near the bottom. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Okay, how do you tell uh, the bullishness? I mean, how will you, you know, rate the bullishness? Okay, it's not really a question. I mean, the answer is kind of here. But you can see over here that uh, in this case, it's most bullish because it's closing at the top. Uh, second most bullish because it's closing at the top or so, but price came all the way down first before it went up. So this is less bullish than this, okay? This is a normal bullish. This is a neutral bullish and this is the least bullish, okay? This neutral because, you know, it went up, it went down and closed in the center. So it's neutral. It didn't really go anywhere, okay? This one is least bullish because, you know, it went all the way up, but then it closed near the bottom, right? So the first thing you want to ask is who is in control? Ask yourself, where did the price close relative to the candlestick uh, range, okay? So use this as a guide, okay? That's the first question you want to ask yourself. The second question you want to ask yourself is, what is the range of the candle relative to the previous candlestick? Right, this will help you determine if there is any strength behind the movement, okay? You can do this just by comparing the size of the current candle 
to the previous few candles. Okay, now if the current candle is much bigger than the previous candle, then it indicates there's strength in the movement. Okay, now you might be a bit confused because uh, it, it sounds a bit chim, right? It sounds a bit um, you know, complicated. I assure you, it's not. Okay, let me just give you an example. Okay, uh, let me just zoom in first. Okay, so let's look at this example over here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? This is kind of like a uh, shooting star that we talked about just now. What happens after this? You have a one big bearish and engulfing pattern here. So if you ask yourself both questions that uh, I talked about just now, question number one, right? Question number one over here is where did price close relative to the range of the candlestick? Close at, at the bottom, near the bottom. This candle and engulfing pattern close near the bottom. Look at the previous candle, right? Is there any strength to this movement? Well, it closed much. It, it, this range and this range, right? It's so much bigger and it closed so much uh, further down below. So there is strength in this movement. And that's also why after this, you see uh, price just carry on dropping, you know, in this example. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, you have three small body candles followed by one big bearish candle. So this is the same thing, right? The first question you ask yourself, okay, the first question is over here. Where did price close relative to the range of the candlestick? At the bottom. Okay, if you look at this engulfing pattern, it is at the bottom. Okay, second question. What is the range of the candle relative to the previous candlesticks. So previously it was, uh, you know, it's very tight range, right? Look at the range of these three candles relative to this, right? It's kind of like compression. You have a, you know, impulsive move down, you have a small consolidation, and then you have a sell down, down again, okay? So that's how you identify, okay? As I said, uh, this PDF is available for download uh, in the description below. Just click the link below to, to download your copy, okay? Now, I'd like to end off this video with a disclaimer, okay? Uh, these candlestick patterns are not meant to be traded on their own, okay? Please, please understand this, okay? Please do not just take this and start trading, okay? You're going to lose money. Please do not do this, okay? The right way to do this is to identify the price action context, look for good levels, and trade off those levels with these patterns. That's the way to trade it, okay? We have a complete Forex course, right? Our Forex course is totally free. We cover everything you need to know, okay? Everything, right? The basics, what is a PIP? What's a currency? How to choose a broker? Basically, everything you need to know. And the access is free, okay? You just check the link below. You, you can have access to it, okay? If you have any questions, just comment in the uh, section below. We'll do our best to answer it, okay? We have a lot of things to do, but we'll try our best to answer it. And we might even record a video just to answer your question, okay? So that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next video.